Hey guys, Mac here, and we are on Black Ops 2, which is pretty decent, I guess. Well, the multiplayer is okay. Probably one of the most enjoyable multiplayer that Call of Duty's I've actually played. Um, I don't know, something about it that makes me wanna play, and I enjoy it because it's not too difficult, and it's not like piece piss either. Ah, bugger! I've got two of the same gun. Okay, so uh, guys, basically what we've got here is obviously diamond assault rifles. Light them up. So I'm just gonna show you them here. Actually, is a great spot. And uh, I've had them for a while. I've just got, why is my sensitivity so high? It's not. It's on eight. That's really low. Um, first impression of the MTAR. I don't know. I don't think there's enough it, on the gun. To say it's that good, do you know what I mean? If you look, it's, uh, it's on the handle, it's a bit on the sides, but like as a general weapon, you holding it, you want to be able to see the diamonds a lot clearer than mate, like, and especially if you're looking in the final kill cam. Okay, so the next one is the type. Just kill myself. And when I originally picked this gun up, when the first time I picked it up, I thought, wow, this gun is ugly as fuck. Because I think they were a bit overkill with the diamond on this one. But as a, a gun in itself, it's not that bad. Uh, like to have if you if you've heard if you say you do like the type um I don't know I guess gold just if you've got diamond use it if you if you don't like it use it. It shows off your skill. <laughs> like, I mean, you've gone through all this hell to get it. So, use it. And actually, no, not yet. Ugh. So, next gun is the SWAT. One of my actual favourite guns uh, with unlocking. I found it really enjoyable to un uh, use to unlock. Uh, I did majority of this on hardcore. I found it a lot easier. I highly recommend you do it on hardcore. And you can't jump up there, which really sucks. I do one here. God. No. Um, I'm gonna say it's a burst fire gun, but I think they sort of did it just right with this gun, because like I know with the M tire had about the same amount, but because of the sure, um, just the look of the gun, you couldn't see the diamonds because of how much it took up your screen. You couldn't see the sides too well, but you can see it pretty well here. It's just on the top, uh, next to the uh, barrel. And on the side in the groove on the um what you call it mag. And obviously on just on the uh, main body of the rifle as well as on the sight. So it's a really nice um Did I get it? Oh yeah. Right, now this has gotta be the best gun that I used during my whole assault rifle thing. I was on hardcore obviously. This is the Fell. Um, oh, this actually looks really nice. It's not my first impression. I did make the video. My sound quality was really bad. I made the video as soon as I finished. And you're talking that was months ago. That was about a month ago. I was real hard on it, that was. And um, I think they've done it just right with this. It's not overkill. Which I mean, I it was just with the type. It just didn't look right. But this doesn't look too bad. I mean, if you're aiming down sights, yeah, it doesn't look that nice. But then it's just like, as a final kill cam, it's like, this gun is really powerful. It's, um, really nice to use as well. Uh, for 25 bullets in a mag, maybe a 3 4 bullet kill, uh, if you've got good enough accuracy, that's pretty good. You're gonna be able to clear out a room pretty well with this. I would never roll with a silencer with this gun. But, as a general gun, it's pretty. Down almost. Okay, so the next one is the M27, which uh, was actually recommended to me to do, and <laughs> I did have so much fun using it. Uh, using it. My mate was saying, "Oh, the recoil, dead barrier," and he is not wrong. At all. And uh, as you can see, I think. This is probably one of the best assault rifles you can get diamond in. If I got side in this proper light, you might be able to see it a bit better. I can see this diamond on that man. It's 
so nice, it's unreal. Because they didn't go overkill, but they didn't do too little. Uh, the next one's the Scar H. And, I don't know, the gun's powerful, but the recoil lets it down like a bitch. So, I mean, it's, it's a good gun, don't get me wrong, it's a brilliant gun. But the recoil is just not exactly handled, you can't really handle it. So, I mean, as you can see, I just pull it straight down because it's going up. But if you can sort of drag it down, I mean, I sort of handled it there, but not very well, you see. Um, but yeah, as you can obviously see, the gun does look pretty nice in diamond. And I can't kill myself because I've not got grenades. Uh, the next one's the foul. What have I got? Crossbow. If I kill myself with crossbow, yeah, I can't ask grenades. Okay. A foul. Did I say the foul? This is the SMR. Uh, is that a way for me to kill myself? Because I've got one more gun to do. I should have got a grenade, that's okay. Actually, no, I've got two more guns. Okay, this is smart. This was a biatch to do. Because you, uh, you need good accuracy. Um, for me, SMR didn't have it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that's what it's like on multiplayer. Go on zombies and shoot the fucking me. Okay, it's not like that. Okay, I'm aiming here. So I was aiming. Alright, we're just going to make it put it in perspective for you guys. He was aiming here, bullet would go here, 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 and then like maybe 3 out of 10 would go here. Maybe. Just a maybe. But um, actually that's interesting, I've never really noticed this. You actually reload from the other side than you normally do. Which is pretty cool. Um, there's a general gun. I don't think they went overkill with the uh, diamond on this, which is really nice. I mean, if you do like using the SMR, what the fuck is wrong with you? And, uh. Oh, excuse me. Um, uh, you obviously put a lot of effort into getting it, like I did. SMR was hell. Uh, and, uh, this is like the second gun I did, was the uh, MAA one. Nice gun, burst, first fire. And it was really interesting to use because having a burst, going to burst from an assault, like a normal. When I think of an assault rifle, you think fully automatic, you think deadly. I mean, but then going to burst. It's not that great because with an assault rifle, yeah, you can spray. But with a burst, you can do it even worse. Mainly because you can, if you've got a trigger finger, you're gonna go through ammo like there's no tomorrow. Do you know what I Because mean? if you want to shoot three shots, or maybe an AN, it's like da da da. You get something like bam bam bang. I mean, but it is, it's all at once, and you actually shoot four faster than you can shoot four with the other one. So it's pretty deadly, that's why I love burst weapons, and that's why I think they're really overpowered. But as a general gun, I really do find this one it's pretty nice. Um, and the mother of all assault rifles is this one. As you can see, it doesn't look, um, in the dark it doesn't look that great. If you're looking outside, it still doesn't look the best gun there is. But, if you really put this into perspective, the AN, whoa, that looked cool. Being one of the best guns you can get in the whole of Call of Duty, it's pretty decent. I mean, there's not not too much, but I don't think there is enough diamond on here to call it like the nicest looking one out of all of them we've had so far. I think the M27 is by far the nicest. Um, but it's the power of the gun doesn't really like for the M27 match up to the look of it. I mean, in diamond it looks great. If the AN sort, if, if I had the AN's power and the M27 look, that would be the best gun ever. Just for the sure fact, how the uh, M27 look in diamond. And you see, I'm really done. So I mean, I've done them all now. I'm pretty happy. And um, so that's the diamond assault rifles and I did say I don't know in a previous video maybe I was doing the shotguns as well yeah there's a ever so slight change of plan with that basically it was double XP and I didn't really wanna waste my double XP so I went ahead and I'll show you what I did see shotgun camo gold 
That's gold, by the way. Camo. Yeah, I need bloodthirsties and revenge. And that one's gold too. So I'm only missing like that one. But what I have done is I did go onto here and I was thinking, alright, we use a scorpion. It's a pretty good gun. And like a day I got hundred headshots, I did all of this in a day. It was unreal. And then I thought, alright, we'll move on to this. I mean, I'm on a like, blue tiger on it already, which is pretty pretty decent. So I did both of those in a day so far. Uh, back there, I mean, all my uh, submachine guns are like, most of them are like 20 headshots. So that's on 24, on 17. I already showed you that one. That one's, like, this one's low. It's just 7 because I barely used it. And the peacekeepers are like 20 as well. And it's on 22. Which is really good because when I've done, I, what, well, one gun has to do with shotguns. I'm doing these next. And once I've done that, I've got LMGs and specials, but once I've done SMGs, I'm definitely doing shotguns, then I'm definitely doing specials. But because I've already permanently unlocked the crossbow, all I need is a bloodthirsty, and I've got gold. With the knife, all I need is the kills, and you see the challenges. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's just the 5.7 as well. <laughs> what really did amuse me about using the 5.7? I don't fucking match to see the leaderboards by. I don't. How do I see the leaderboards? Oh yeah, I've got to go to barracks, career, and then to under career, weapons. I assume so I, I over to all my guns by doing the scorpion. Probably all the way to the bottom when I find it. Wait, not tired. 5 7, 50 kills. I've 50 out of my 30, oh, 30 out of 50 kills have been headshots. Um, I know I had it. So I had, I think it was 18 kills and 18 headshots. I just found my killing spree. I see someone using it. I said, like, bloody hell, man, this goes. Put some effort into it. B23R was what I was originally heading for. Um, gold first. Oh, what is going to put some effort into this? I really did um, amuse me. Like, how, actually, how good it was. Um. I'm trying to think now. I got new zombies, gun, game, mass, and I don't care. That's mine. Uh, yeah, guys, if you ever actually do see me on uh, the online, you know, it's always good to meet someone. And you see on YouTube, you know what I mean? If you meet someone on YouTube, you're pretty happy about this stuff. I used to set up these classes and all that. And I, as you said, I never prestige this one. Because it got to the point, I was doing Cherry Blossom and I was doing Art of War. And I was there and I was like 40 kills away and I was like, I did not prestige this one. Like, there is no point. And there's my, there's my class to do the knife. There's the class to do the knife. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Because I only need a couple of my thirsties and a bit of gold. And you see, I'm going to need the new. Um, camo jet. I want pack a punch. That's all I want. Uh, yeah, so uh, guys, uh, when the next DLC comes out, I'll be Prestige Master. Because I'm easily going to be able to get. Basically, I'm going to go through 9th and through 10th straight away. But what happened with the previous one, it was a case of. I didn't find out until. So it starts on the Friday and ends on the Monday, I think. And I didn't find out till the end of Saturday that there was double XP. So I basically had Sunday. So I did go up with Prestige by doing that. And um, if you ever, if you guys are thinking, oh yeah, well, I want Prestige, I want it higher, a lot quicker. Um, if, go onto your challenges. Basically, just go onto your score streaks. Aerosol, as you'll see, I've got like the swarm to do, the escort drone, and the warhawk to do. But all these are done. I think you get like, is it 5,000? Yeah, 5,000 for each one. So you get double XPS 10,000, so it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 to put you up a level at the highest rank. Doing one of those, which is really nothing because you're going to do those as you play, which is really handy. And you can do the same with Crown uh, Assault, 
Say the three more kills on the Sentry Turn, I've got one. That one I want to start it. Four for me, I've done that one pretty well. And um, it's sort of the same with Prestige, if you come into here and use Ward cards. 5,000 each one. So that's 10, just kills. Just getting kills. If you look at the ones that you just need kills for, say with perks, so especially, um, so let's find the ones you need kill for. Awareness, uh, Dead Silence, um, Lightweight, Fast Hand, pretty easy, um, Cold Blooded, Ghost, it's pretty easy as well, you don't have to kill hands with enemies, and it looks awesome, I mean, um, which I mean, I'm going for a lot like, of these ones. Uh, with the equipment, it's not as easy, but it's still pretty easy to do. I mean, I only need a 9 more Sentex kills and that one. Uh, but you need 300, which is not that easy to do. Um, and there's attachments. So if you change it with your attachments, you can get this one really, really, really easy. And it's really quick as well. So you can see I've got the quick draw, extended flip. But the laser sight and the adjustable stock. Oh, well, the closest we have next. Well, like, say the tactical knife, you just need kills. So, say you get your gun to top rank for your pistol, and you're trying to get gold or diamond or whatever, put the knife on, and you just keep shooting them, you're getting your kills, and you're getting knife at the same time. I think the hardest one again is just gonna be FMJ. Like, everyone knows it. That one's very damaged. So many of these are so easy, they don't look great. So, like, you're saying, oh yeah, they don't look nice, don't go for them. Not the case. Go for them, but don't finish them with the double XP and then finish them, and you get like 10,000 XP. Um, it's, it's double XP, uh, weapon XP at the moment. So I take, I'd say take a full advantage of it. Um, mainly because if you go into your. Oh, bugger. Yeah, this is me being banned. Motherfucker. See, it's not the banning that's annoying me. It's the case of, but it's still there for me to use. I just can't like get onto it and all that. It sends me back to the menu. It takes ages to load. Okay, and that's not that that's annoying me. The bit that annoys me. Hang on. Okay, that's all my services. So I'll show you what annoys me. Barracks new. I can't have a look. That's the bit that annoys me. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, yeah, if you want to hear, you want to say, uh, yeah, sorry, I knew this. You get 5,000 for that, and 10,000 for that, so that's 50,000. You'll get 30,000 by doing, getting Prestige 2. Do you know what I mean? Prestige 2, Prestige 2. Take a full advantage of that. So get it to um, Prestige uh, 2 level. So it, I'm pretty sure I can watch Prestige in it. Yeah, the next one level, uh, Prestige uh, Weapon Prestige 2. So what you want to do is find out what the maximum level is. So if you're going for, say, the sniper, the uh, maximum level is 10. It is 10, isn't it? Yeah, 10. So get it to level 9 in a bit, stop using it, and when it comes to double, uh, double XP, get a kill with it and you're going to get 30,000 straight out. As long as you've got the gold as well. Or, you can leave it maybe a long shot, which is even easier to do. Or double kill. I mean, don't leave a bloodthirsty, it's too easy, too easy, too difficult. As you'll be surprised, I got bloodthirsty before I got revenges for my S12. Um, bloodthirsty is difficult, especially with shotguns. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's about it. I've already got a lot more. Um, like, it's all about doing some more videos. Literally. I've barely done any, like, all three. I think I'm like 3 or 4. Oh, 3. Actually, it would be 4. Uh, it would be 5 actually. Let's make it up. Well, sounds easy. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like seeing the gold sorrowfuls. And if you guys. Uh, I want I want your guys help. After I've done the shotguns. And some machine guns. Should I go for specials? Or should I go for MGs? Or should I go for pistols? Should I go for launchers? What should I go for? I want your honest opinion what should I go for? Or should I like say fuck Call of Duty go for something else? Go on gears, go on Call of Duty. Fuck Call of Duty, go on Call of Duty. Um 
Yeah, maybe focus some more on zombies, focus some more on uh, Battlefield. Uh, Metro. Or oh, oh, GTA 5 when it comes out. Do you mean, do you mean to go full out GTA 5? 100% it like what they with GTA 4. Um, actually, that was a lot of fun to do. Took the piss to the Stevie's missions. Took the absolute piss. Seriously, it takes them six hours, no, like six actual hours, six in game hours to send you a text. Right? After I finished it, I wanted to find out why I never had my 100%. And someone put on the. Right, I looked at that, I was looking at the left, and he goes, Tip, save at your house to get your next mission quickly. And I was there, and I was thinking, Wow, I wish I read this quicker, quicker earlier. So I've gone through all of them. I went through all the random characters, I've got all of them. Originally, I thought you had to do all the random characters, all the missions. So, like, after I finished uh, the one mission, after I kidnapped Gracie, she's gone away. And I have to give her back, and I'm like, <laughs> give her back. Um, and then after I've done that, then I thought, well, then I found her. But no, you can do it at any point in the game, and they're all there. And if you go on to uh, the website, it's just type in, like, uh, GTA 4 random characters. It's one of the first that they pop up. You can find. It's basically a Google map of GTA, and you can roam the streets like you can on, G on Google Maps. It is awesome. So, um, yeah, that's about it. But well, guys, I'm gonna leave. Uh, so I wonder what gun I should do. If you want me to change what I'm doing, maybe I, you don't want me to do the submachine guns or the shotguns next. You want me to change it? Tell me. I would prefer to do a uh, submachine guns and shotguns and something else. But, uh, you know, whatever. And, uh, I'm not getting cold dogs. Uh, because it's gonna suck. I'm getting them after that. As long as maybe I'll try out things with zombies, I'm getting it. Because zombies is what I give a shit about. So people will say, like, um, they weren't gonna get the Xbox One. I was getting the Xbox One no matter what. Halo. You know what I mean? Published by Microsoft. Gears. Published by Microsoft. Yeah, there might not be another Gears, but if there is going to be another Gears, it's going to be published by Microsoft. Do you know what I mean? It's small things like that. And then there's people saying, oh yeah, but you could just look at the walkthrough on YouTube, which is like, well, that's not, that's not fun. Do you know what I mean? It's like, how much you play that? Oh, I found it. I could look at the multiplayer online. It's like, it's the experience, isn't it? I mean, it's the time. But, uh, guys, obviously, thanks for watching. Rate, no, rate, I can't even remember if you can rate videos. Uh, comment and subscribe, and, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you want to be doing after, or doing, uh, doing next. If you want me to continue with SMGs, doing shotguns, doing any of that, uh, I'm getting, getting on that. But I'm only really playing during Double XP weekends, that's when I'm getting on that. But not the main times. So, uh, guys, uh, check out our other series, check out some of our other videos, check out Louise Hunger Games, um, what she's been doing. And, uh, yeah, um, hopefully, I'll bring out some more videos in the near future. I know we haven't really been, we've sort of had a mini break from uploading and doing all that, so uh, it's been nice to start recording again and start making some videos for you guys to. Enjoy. So, uh, peace.